Hello there guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. Today we're based in WordPress and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do is show you how to design your own product template within WordPress. Okay, I've released uh, a few tutorials this week in regards to WooCommerce and how to implement your products within your website. What I'd like to do now is show you how to, sh to set up the product template. Okay. As you can see, I've come to products here within my WordPress dashboard, and you can see this is my uh, product here. And what I'd like to do is now set up the product template. So what I'd need to do is come to our templates option here, like so. And what we need to do now is create a new template. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna say add new template. And what we need to do is select the template you want to work on, okay? Um, and now that we've installed the WooCommerce plugin, we have the option here of single product. Okay, so what we're going to do is select that now, and we're going to put the name of the um, product uh, as sorry, name of your template as product. Wonderful. And now let's say we press, uh, we say create the template. What will happen here, you get a few um, templates from the Elemental Library. But like I said, we would like to build and design our own templates. So we're now going to cross that off there. OK, so let's try and build our template now. So what I'm going to do is add a structure. I'm going to come here and add two columns. Fantastic. Now, if I come to our widgets, as you can see, now we have all the new widgets, here, new widgets to use. OK. And we should now be able to design our um, template here very, very easily, okay? So what we have now is I'm gonna use our product image. So I'm gonna place our product image in here. And as you can see, the image that I uh, placed in our plugin, WooCommerce plugin has now automatically generated. Now what I'm gonna do now is come over here and let's implement the product title like so fantastic okay and what we have these, the, with these options here is to implement and change the font type if you're looking to do that you've got the style here the text color you can change the typography if you're looking to do so all different and all changeable for you okay what i'm going to do is stick with uh, the black aerial font um you could do a stroke text shadow if you want to do that and you've got a blending mode also which you can change depending on what you're looking to do OK, so I've implemented the uh, image and I've implemented the product title. What I also need to do now is implement the product content. So let's go back to our uh, widgets here and we should have our widget of product content. Fantastic, which I'm going to place here by just simply clicking and dragging. Like so, fantastic. Now, what we need to also do is add our price as well. So what we need to do is come here and we should have here product price, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is click and drag that into place like so. So it's really, really easy. It's the case of you clicking and dragging and where you've implemented the information within WooCommerce already, you can see it's automatically just generating straight away. These are, these are all editable for you, depending on what you want to do. You have the style here, the typography, which you can change. You have the color, which you can change depending on what you want to do. So I may want to put a nice sort of red color in there, let's say. There we go. Perfect. OK, so it's all changeable, all mixable for you, depending on what you want to do. You've got the sale price here. So you may want to increase the, the spacing between the sale price and the normal price. You may want to have stacked. I think it looks better non-stacked, to be fair. Um, you've got the color also here, so you may want to change that to a green or something like so. All changeable for you. Okay. Now what we need to do is add the add to cart button. So we want to give a, give a place for our, play, our customers to um, click a button so they can add the products to their basket. So if I come here now and we should have an add to cart widget, which is situated here. And what I'm going to do now is come through and add our add to cart button. With that there, you have the, the options here of the layout. So you may want to change it to stacked, like so, auto. I'm a fan of inline again. We have the button option here. So we can start really affecting the alignment of the button. 
uh, the typography, which we may want to change again. Let's go for aerial, like so. We have the border radius, the padding, the text color. We have the background color, which we can change the color of the button. So let's keep with a nice sort of green vibe here. Fantastic. We have the text color, which you can change, the border color, all different stuff for you yet again to implement and change within to, in your style of your uh, website. You have the quantity here. This is all in regards to our uh, inventory, stuff like that, all changeable, manipulable, as you can see, and don't really worry about variations at the moment. Okay, fantastic. So as you can see now, my... Um, Product templates coming to coming coming to coming to come to life. Okay, what I want to also do is add some WooCommerce uh, breadcrumbs. Place basically what that is is where people can click back to future pages, so, so um, previous pages. So if I come back to my widgets now, I should have a WooCommerce uh, breadcrumbs, which is situated here, and I'm just going to place that on top of the image like so. And as you can see, we can now click back T-shirt home. There are WooCommerce uh, breadcrumbs. Now, what I want to do is I want to quickly just edit this section here. So what I'm going to do now is select that, come to layout. We've got the uh, vertical alignment here. I want to put that in the middle. Let's say I want to create a nice little background. So I'm going to edit the section. If I come to style here, I've got the background type, uh, which I now can change the color. Let's go for a nice green, like I say. I'm trying to keep within that green vibe. May actually go for sort of a dark, like a creamy kind of vibe, like so. Okay. So as you can see now, I've created a very basic uh, template for our product. Okay. And what we need to do is uh, publish this section here, like so. So now we're going to publish. Fantastic. Now, what will happen, okay, is we need to add a condition, okay? It's already there, but it's important to add the condition. So let's say we add the condition, like so, and we have products here, okay? And then what we're going to do now is save and close. Fantastic. Oh, now, okay. So now, if we were to go back to the dashboard, okay, and then if we were to go to our pages, And if we were to go to our products here, like so, and if we were to go to view, as you can see, I've created our product template. And there you go, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also as well, uh, there are tutorials coming out on a weekly basis. So please make sure that you take a look. There's some really cool information on there. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.